The next drill we're going to do is a reverse stride drill. And our team will tell you it's probably my favorite drill and probably maybe the team's least favorite drill to do. But the reason we do it is to create a good front side. And a lot of times we get young hitters that are real, that like to spin or pull off the ball and they don't use their legs enough in the swing. And I found over the years if we use the reverse stride movement that it really helps our kids learn how to transition properly into their front side. The key to this drill, you got a couple things here. One, you have to start with a really wide base. So if you can look at Cole's feet, he's in a position here with the wide base, giving himself a chance to hit. We also have um, the T. The T has to be in a position that may be a little too far. You think it's about right? The T may be about right because you got to realize you're going to work in a in a backwards pass. So as this go, the reverse stride, Cole's going to his separation this time. He's going to come back with the front foot and make sure when you come back, the heel lands. Some kids will want to tippy toe on you. You want to get your heel down right here, and that's your separation. Your hand's still load. Everything does the same. Cole, go ahead and show us one more time. Reverse pivot. We just load normal, but now we've decreased our base. And now as we move, you're going to watch this backside. And I talk about, man, that back knee's going to work. That back elbow's going to work. And we're all going to create movement into the front side, into a good front side. I love how Cole's flat on the front foot. There's not a lot of angle in this drill. There's times when that front foot will get 45 degrees, but most of the time in this drill it stays really closed and it gives them a feeling of swinging from the ground up, having their legs under them and really creating some energy into the ball. Let's watch Cole one more time in slow motion. Reverse stride, boom, right there. He's coming off that backside. He's getting knee to knee. I love how his head is focused and on the ball and it gives himself a chance to hit. A lot of times when I have young hitters and they're really struggling and I just can't get them just right, reverse stride feels so different to them that it's a good thing to get them out of their old swing and get them moving in the right direction. And we eventually add on to it as we go. We let them go ahead and stride again. This is just a drill segment. Some days we'll come in and everybody has to reverse stride in a T work to give themselves a chance of using their lower half. Let's see Cole do it in full speed. That swing was better than your X's swing right there. That was very good. Perfect. What I like to see, we'll, what we'll have Cole do on this one, I want you to freeze your finish. And I'll tell our guys this a lot of times in our work, just freeze your finish. Let's watch where you're at at your finish so we can see where he's at. That's about perfect right there. And we can still see his head's in perfect line. One thing we talk about all the time is being knee to knee. That means that backside transition into the front side. The front side is still closed, but we're 45 degrees and we're in a good spot, ready to hit. When I get to this position and I get knee to knee, that creates my path to the zone. It gives me a good chance to hit, lets my bat work the right way. And in reality, as much as I joked, guys don't like this, those were three perfect line drives by Cole. It has a tendency to get good swings out of guys, and what happens is that barrel gets in a good position, and it just shoots forward in the right path.